Hello, welcome to Chop Shop Motors. My name is Clay, and I thought it was time to get back to doing some filming. A lot's been going on at uh, Chop Shop Motors, so I will catch you up to speed on the last video. The last video that we put out was piecing together a 55 F100 that we're gonna sell, and everything uh, everything kind of got put on hold because life gets in the way of what's happening uh, out in the shops and so I had uh, for me I had my role my day job was eliminated so I was had to kind of shift gears and get that taken care of and land a new gig so I'm in my new role and everything is cruising along again so now that that part's calmed down on the work front, I can come back out in the shop and start to work out here again. So all good news, and those are just things that happen in life. We all deal with them, and uh, it's, it's not good or bad. It's just kind of life. So that part's square, and now what I'd like to do is we'll fast forward probably three months. Um, and talk about this F100. So we, I bought a 32 four-door sedan that is a run and driving hot rod, super cool. Just love the heck out of it. And the pack, the pack that I made with myself was really to thin out the herd and sell some, some projects. So this F100 wasn't originally slated to be something that we send down the road. But now uh, it is. So I have put it together, assembled all the pieces, and I'm gonna walk you around it and kind of show you what the pile of parts looks like. And then I think I have a little bit of a new plan and I'll share that at the end of the video. All good stuff. So let's take a look and see where the project landed uh, as advertised today. Here is the F100 as it sits at the moment. The front end is all on it. Sheet metal's on it. Hood's setting in there. Hood's actually bolted on. Nice, a nice original grill, super straight. It looks a little scruffy, but it's a really nice grill. It's got a straight front bumper. It's got a new lower valence. The hood fits quite nicely for one of these trucks. The left front fender is healthy and not rusty, but it is it, it does need some time. It's It's been whacked a few times. The back's decent, uh, and but you get to the front end, you know, it got too close to a pole or something and has been knocked out a little bit and then filled. And so before, really anything else happened on it, it would need some love. As we walk around, the right front fender, much nicer, does have a hole in it for uh, some kind of uh, external turn signal, but uh, other than that, pretty decent. A little bit of time there, the lower corner. The cab is super straight, but it has a little bit of damage around the heater vent intake. So I've got another, I do have a replacement panel for it if that's the, if that was needed. Doors, super nice. Cherry doors, which is really hard to find for one of these. Inside has the inner door covers. Gorgeous seat frame and springs with the actuating rod and the adjusters. All of the interior pieces are there. La box ashtray, defroster, def uh, defroster deflector, rear view mirror, uh, sun visor. It's got a three speed manual column in it. Uh, the truck was a three speed originally. This truck was originally mountain green 
and it came out of uh, the Bay Area plant in California. That's where it originally came from. I think it's been in Arizona its whole life. It's got door handles and strikers. Back of the cab's pretty nice. Top of the cab is really nice. It's, a, it's not a custom cab, it's just a regular cab. So no stainless on the grip rail. We get back to the bed. The bed is decent, no rust. Uh, fenders are decent. Uh, a little bit of rust where the running board bolts on. I don't have a set of short bed running boards for it, but I have an incredibly nice set of long bed running boards. So they would need to be shortened uh, to work on this project if that was a path or sold and set of short beds procured. The long, nice long bed running boards are uh, probably worth a little more than a decent set of short bed. The back, it's got a humongous ugly bumper on it. Uh, it's got a nine inch rear end under it and uh, fuel tanks there. It's got the nice tail lights on it, uh, which would have been a step up from the original round ones. Here's the left rear fender, decent again. That side, that side um, needs a little bit of work where some where a spare tire bracket was mounted on the inside. Back of the cab's nice, cab corners are nice. This door, equally nice. Inside doors. I didn't put the mechanisms on the inside because I did not have two good ones. I have a window mechanism, but I do not have the door actuator mechanisms that don't that don't need the um, knurled or uh, spline shafts replaced. So I didn't put them in. Uh, gas pedals in there, emergency brake. All the, basically everything is set in there. Uh, I have an instrument cluster for it. A decent one. Running board brackets for this side I have. Uh, the tank's not in it, but I, um, I do have all that stuff. You can see the back of the fender fits nice to the cab. Emblems are on the hood. Uh, front axles stock, etc. etc. So that's kind of the gist of this truck. So I'll back up give you a peek at it. There it is. That's a super nice starter project. Nicer than I've typically been able to find. And I have put it, um, advertised it locally here in Phoenix. And I haven't had any bites on it, which is interesting because the price is not bad. Especially since I could probably part it out for about 30% more than I'm selling it as a whole. I don't really like, I don't want to kill any more of them. I want to sell it complete. So that's the project today. Now I'm going to take you back inside, put you on the tripod, and I'll tell you what my, what my potential next steps are for this. So we've looked at the truck. It's all together. I basically did an inventory on the parts that I have for it. I know you know, I know the handful of things that I don't currently have for a project like glass. Uh, I think I need a window actuator, things like that. So I've got a really good inventory at this point of exactly what's missing from that truck being put back together. And I am surprised because I've been messing with these trucks my whole life. I'm surprised that I haven't had anybody interested in it. So maybe the market's changing a little bit, maybe the amount of enthusiasts who actually want to build a truck are uh, fewer. I just sold an F100 that uh, we kind of put together on the channel and there was a, there was a lot of interest in it. So, uh, so there's interest in done ones and that was a pretty that was a pretty original truck. So it hadn't been hot rodded, it hadn't been, really it was just made road worthy. There, 
there was no restoration that occurred. It was preservation. And, and we did paint it. Biggest um, spend on the project was we did paint it to, to make it look a little snazzier, a little more complete, right? So it didn't look like it was uh, a buffet of parts. And uh, so that, that's all fine. This truck has a lot better bones. So this truck is originally a short bed manufactured in uh, the Bay Area, sold locally, cool color combination, have the data tag, have clear paperwork on it, already have a nine inch for it. So I was thinking, what's Chop Shop Mutter's gonna do? The goal is to continue to replenish the money spent on a really nice hot rod and be true to that because you can't trick yourself and go, well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just keep all the cars in. That doesn't work in the, in the business model too well. And um, it tends to create distrust on the home front when you try to procure your next hot rod. So we won't do that. And so I'm, I think my plan is going to be if this truck doesn't sell in the next week, I'm gonna build it. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a uh, hot rod, short bed, 55 F100 out of it. It's, uh, you know, the hard part will be selling it when I'm all done because it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a really cool little truck. It, uh, I've got a dropped axle that wasn't for this project, but you can buy dropped axles. I've got some spare parts that I'll use and uh, therefore the truck that's sitting next to it for that build and that's fine because I can always buy another dropped axle. It wasn't, uh, it was one of the tubular ones. I think I got it at Speedway. So we can get another one. So the plan is going to be, I'm going to take a fresh small block 289 that I have in inventory that I put together a year or so ago just so that I knew what I had. I'm gonna put it together with a rebuilt C4 that I have, which has been on the shelf forever. It was rebuilt 20 years ago, honestly, and I've just had it sitting on the shelf. The truck uh, projects have come and gone, and that transmission didn't get, didn't end up in any of them. So we're gonna put it in this. If it doesn't work, then we'll figure out why it doesn't work and we'll fix it, it's all new inside. So I'm gonna use my plan, 289, C4, nine inch four rear end, dropped, uh, dropped axle in the front, and I'll decide if I'm gonna step up and put disc brakes on it, or if I'm gonna drum brake it and I'll, probably put disc brakes on it just because it feels like a miss to be that close and not just disc brake it. Um, and we're gonna put it in matte, probably gonna end up being mountain green because that's what the data plate is. I'll redo the seat, I'll put a floor mat in it, I will put new glass and I've got a set of five spoke uh, American, they're actually not Americans, they're appliance five spokes that I'll put on it. And I'm gonna have a super, I'm gonna drop it front and back and we're gonna have a super cool little truck and I'll sell it that way. So today's plan, if it doesn't sell, is we're gonna build a hot rod out of it and it's gonna be probably easier than the 30-day truck build and it should be even cooler so that's the plan today always changing directions i hope you stick around to watch what it uh kind of the path we go down we're going to make it a little more finished a little more detail than just an assembled an assembled old truck with a v8 in it um, 
and that's the plan. I'm Clay for Chop Shop Motors, and we'll see you on the next project.